don't be a dickhead. Charge right rates, do a good job, and build relationships with businesses. Here's how you charge businesses as an influencer. Let's take a look at your accounts. Most people will have a look at their Instagram and their TikTok. Let's just say you have 10,000 followers on Instagram and you have 50,000 followers on TikTok. If we take the average of the two, you have 30,000 followers on average. First, we take a look at your engagement rate. If your engagement rate is high, high being anywhere between three to 5%, then you are worth a premium. If you have an engagement rate of between one to 3%, you're pretty much average. And if you're below 1%, you probably shouldn't be an influencer. Sorry. Once you have that calculated, and once you know what your engagement rate is, let's take a look at your view counter. If your view count and the minimum amount of views you get onto your profile, whether it's a post, whether it's a story, whatever you're trying to sell, let's just look at reels and TikToks for a second. Take a look at your last nine to 12 videos, and let's take a look at what the average is of that. So if on average, your videos are generating anywhere between 1,000 to 2 million views, which is highly possible nowadays with reels and TikTok, we're gonna take our average between our last nine videos. Let's just say our last nine videos, we have an average of 20,000 views. That would be your average. Your minimum will be 1K and your maximum will be 2 million. You average at 20K. Here's how you would charge for that. Taking a $10 CPM, which is cost per milli, which is 1,000 exposures, or we call it views for this sake. If you charge $10 for a thousand views and you get on average 20K, that means your middle ground is $200 per post. Your lower ground is $10 per post. Your upper, in terms of deal value, $2 million is equivalent to about $20,000. But the thing is, the chances of you making a 2 million view video is very low like a 0.1% chance. So you're never gonna really go up towards that upper end unless your followers dictate that as well. So what we would like to play around with is this end here. You'll play around with 200 on your average. Your average will then become your new upper range. So $200 will become your upper and then $10 become your lower. So if the deal falls between 10 to $200 and you have 30,000 followers, that deal is actually worth it for you and you can actually justify that deal with any business that you go to. And any business will be smart to give you a deal that that's worth that. Let me give you an example. If I'm an e-commerce business and I go, hey, I'm going to send you $150 worth of products. Would you be able to do this piece of content for me as a contra deal, which is free product in exchange for a video? Then if you enjoy the product, it falls within your brand guidelines. It falls between something you actually like and enjoy. Then that is a fair deal. If you are sitting here and going to a brand and go, hey, I want $500 per video because I have 30,000 followers, then you may potentially be offering an unfair deal to the business and there is a lower chance of you getting that deal. However, if you have a certain standing in society and you are a public figure because you're in the media, you're in the news, you're a figurehead, you're in public in real life, you have real influence, you can potentially justify that cost because your influence goes beyond simply the digital medium. So to price yourself, 10 to $200 for someone with 30K followers generating on average about 20,000 views per video is a fair ask. So if they offer you a deal that is between that number, take it, build your portfolio, get better, get more followers. Remember, as an influencer, you are getting paid to get paid because every piece of content you do goes into your portfolio to demonstrate to companies what you're capable of and you grow your followers, you'll make more money that way. So that's extremely important to be aware of. So don't be that influencer who's on their high horse, charge a ridiculous amount of money with no justification, back your Yourself, create good content, not just cinematic flashes here and there. Create real good content with your real personality and that is how you make money as a content creator as well as an influencer in this day and age.